Welcome to Humans of Nueva, an ongoing video series by the Social Impact Filmmaking Club. With this series, we aim to highlight members of our community to share their passions and interests. We hope that this series will engage the community in discussion and hopefully even spark your own interest in some of these topics. For our premiere episode, we'd like to introduce Mari and Emmy, who are equestrian vultures. Hello. Hi, I'm Emmy and I'm an equestrian vaulter. Hi, I'm Mari and I'm an equestrian vaulter. What is equestrian vaulting? So what it's usually described as is gymnastics and dance, a mixture of those two um, performed on moving horses. It's definitely most common in Europe. Countries like Germany, France, Switzerland are like the most competitive, I would say. Um, the US, it's growing, but there's like 500 people who do it here. It's really, really small. There's actually a lot of like California clubs that are kind of concentrated like right around here, which is convenient. Yeah. <laughs> Can you tell us about your background to the question involving how you got started in it? Yeah, so my older sister, she started out vaulting, um, so I kind of just followed in her footsteps, but yeah, I, I learned to love it. And... Yeah, for me, um, so my mom rides, and I started out riding too, but then um, she thought that I should have balance for riding, and I started vaulting and actually liked that better than riding, so I've been vaulting ever since. Can you tell us a little bit about your competitive experience? Um, so. I compete nationally and internationally. The team is, you have multiple people on the horse at the same time. And I was on the US senior team last year where we competed at the world championships. And my personal experience has been much more like nationally. Um, I've been to nationals a couple times and um, I've been to an international competition in Denmark, which was fun. Um, but I haven't like been to worlds like Emmy. What are your three favorite tricks that you've done? <laughs> so there's this one move that I didn't do in competition, but like I trained it, and the base who's the person who's like flipping you around, he like goes like this, and then he like tosses me in the air, and then I flip 180 degrees, and I like land back on the arms in That's the same insane. position. What happens if he drops you? Has I he? don't know yet. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but what happens like if you get dropped as a flyer? I have like many, many, many times. You don't like fall from the highest position, like plop to the ground. You kind of like crumble and then you like <laughs> fall. So it's not like as intense as you think it is. But I've definitely had instances where I like get a little bit hurt from it. Okay, we're gonna go into the second part. So we have an iPad. There's the four videos that you sent. So what we want is for you guys uh, to go through these and then you know talk about like what is going on here. Uh, oh wait, we'll that's... do one of you next. Ooh, you okay, so um, so I'm raising my hand and I'm running after the horse. Compulsories, pause it actually for a second. So compulsories is like a set of moves that everyone has to do. So instead of freestyle where you can kind of make up your own routine, it's like a set amount of moves. So it's not as like fancy and wild yeah, so as the freestyle, but yeah. You basically train the same set of moves for your entire vaulting career. So mm -hmm. it doesn't matter if you're like at the very first level or the highest level, you're still doing the same thing. And it's very, very hard to get a perfect score. Like nobody's ever done it on compulsory. Yeah, no. And the closest one, 9.1, yeah. 9.2. Was that, yeah. Every time I watch videos of myself, I keep like looking at what I did that like. Okay, stand, it's pretty simple. You're just standing and trying not to die. Yeah, <laughs> trying not to like step or anything. This and then one is finally, my least you have favorite. Flank. We all hate flank. You have to do a swing and then land. Your sideways. flank is so good. That I was can't that do was flank. that was okay. Um, yeah, that that's the set. end. That was like that was the set where we tied exactly. Yeah, we got that, that, that set. Crazy. We got in that competition. We got the exact same score down to the hundredth decimal. Yeah, it was. It was crazy, and we were both in first place. Okay, so this video was last year in Budapest, Hungary, and it was our team freestyle at the World Championships for seniors. So I'm in the orange. Do um, your, your obviously, there are multiple people on the horse, and then I mount. 
the amount of nerves that were going through my body at this point, oh, yeah, I all felt things. like jello. It was crazy. Um, in international competitions, we have two rounds of freestyle. And the first one, it was okay, but it wasn't like perfect. So we really needed this one to like secure a medal position. So obviously a lot of pressure, a lot of nerves. It was, it was very um, high intensity, but oh, I love that move. And then I, okay, there, you can't tell, but I was staring down the judge. <laughs> I, well, they always tell us, like, make eye contact with the judge. They'll, like, it feels make so you, weird. like, they'll like you more or whatever. But I think I stared at the clerk instead of the judge. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> so the clerk is the person who, like, writes the stuff down, and the judge is the one who tells them what to write down. Yeah, so and I think say, I like, stared like, at the seven, wrong person. Like, <laughs> it's okay. They're like, stare at the judge. It, it makes you seem more confident, but it oh, just feels so All my legs were not together. So when you're a flyer, which what which was what I was, you have to be like really tight and like, oh my down and up, oh, 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 okay. So you have to be really tight so they can like throw you around, toss you in the air. So this freestyle is so impressive. Oh my god. And that move, we literally added that move, this move, a week before the competition. Ooh. And then there's Hannah. Hannah is my flyer friend who is also very, very, very good at vaulting. Those are all the videos. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Humans of Nueva. Once again, shout out to Mari and Emmy for kickstarting this series. And if you see them in the halls, feel free to ask them more about what they do. If you feel inspired by this video and would like to participate or even nominate a friend, reach out to us at safc at nuevaschool.org or you can scan this QR code. We're looking for students who want to share something about themselves that their classmates may not even know about them. Once again, thank you so much for watching this episode of Humans of Nueva. And keep Keep on the lookout for new episodes coming up from SAFC in the future.